What is up guys, Venor here. We are back with another episode of Amnesia. And today we are going to tackle the study. After getting bombarded with a bunch of monster attacks in every single episode, I'm hoping this time is a little more gentle, you know? I don't wanna I don't wanna see this monster. He has no business being in our business. You know what I mean? We're just trying to get through, trying to cut Alexander's head off or Stab him a few times, but why there's got to be a monster? Yeah, and this is still very, very freaky. This is not cool. Closed door. Gonna go for the open one first. And gonna close this behind me. Even though, if a monster comes in here, there's nowhere for us to hide. Like, what? <laughs> it's just not fair if, if a monster comes right now. Anything else? Anything else? I want something else! Fine! Fine! You weren't helping me anyway. Can I bust the, can I bust the window down so I can get the hell out of here? Ooh, I'm fading a little bit. I got a slight headache. Anybody in there? Monster? Monster? Hello? Whoa. A lot of whispering. Is that a dog? We got a note. To my most trusted student and friend, Joanne May May Way Wayer. Wow. The most remarkable thing happened as I was traveling through the Prussian woods this summer. I finally found one of the orbs I've been looking for the last 20 odd years. It is as inexplicable as the Heliodromus described it in the Hortus Conclusus. <laughs> it was as it was told about, an underground Mithria, Mith Mithrak temple crowned with the unearthly artifact. The orb was big enough to fill my cupped hands and the texture was smooth and jagged. Its color washed while rich. Contrast is enough to describe its nature. It was impossibility, an artificial paradox captured within stone. I was staying in a nearby village called Altstad, investigating one of the an antiquated trails. When I finally found the cavern, I went inside and suddenly I could verify the truth of these enigmatic artifacts. They were real. Holy crap, a lot of reading. As you can understand, this is the most important discovery of my life, but has also become my greatest fear. As I entered the underground chamber, I could feel that I was trespassing. Because of my curiosity, I did my best to fight these instincts and fetch the orb from its place. I scrambled out of the chamber and into the woods. I could sense something was following me. It, it bayed loudly as it, it closed in. The beast, this guardian of the orb, was relentless in his pursuit. I made my way to a nearby ravine where I stumbled upon some men fishing in the lake. I tried to warn them as I passed, but fortunately they remained as I continued my escape. When I heard their cry of pain echo through the valley, I, I felt such a tremendous sense of relief thinking I could be spared. Suddenly, a blue shimmering light engulfed me, and the color of the forest were washed away before my eyes. I kept running through the bleak surroundings. The trees had turned charcoal. I, black with leaves of cinder, the ground covered my in murky water. I pressed on through the drenched land as the glowing ember gave away the rising wind and rained on me. I could hear pleading screams in the distance and I joined in as pain and fear overtook me. I fell to the ground gasping for air. This certainly must sound strange, but I had been carried miles away across the Alps to a grassy field outside Genoa. The guardian had taken the orb from me, but still, until this day, I fear its return. Sometimes I lay awake at night, listening for the howling cry I hear I heard in the forest. It has been nearly a decade since the day, and I still hadn't been able to write about the incident. 
The last time we spoke, you told me about your interest in ongoing research into the mythic orbs, and I realized I owed you the truth about my visit to Altstad. Your friend and mentor, Agrippa. Okay. <clears throat> well, now that my voice is very tired... Uh, is there anything else in here? Can't be wasting that lantern. You know, we got like nothing left. Oh, okay, we... Yeah, we're good. We're good. What is that? Is that a dog dying or something? That's... That's not cool. Hello? Hello? Close. Hello? Oh, that's a dog's head! What? Is something coming? Okay, we're faded. Let's see what you have to offer. It's fucking killing the dogs! He's fucking. What the? No! <sighs> what a mess. I should have sharpened the saw. But I can sense it. It's definitely there. Oh my. What a dick. What? What the hell? Why would you ever need to kill a dog? Like, what the. What the hell, man? Monster, don't kill me like you killed the dogs. Ooh, that must that must be him, Mr. Alexander, Mr. Mr. I'm gonna kill dogs, Mr. I'm so cool. Hey, 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 let me piss on your face. Eh, how you like it? Oh, I can hear the crying dogs, you asshole. Note. 1658, January 9th. Further disappointment. The antiquarian's latest findings yield nothing. I'm still unable to grasp the inner workings of life and its relation to the power I sense within it. I shall pursue more books on the subject, but I suspect it will be in vain. Since no research has been made in my particular interest, I must attempt to fill that void myself. Clearly, humans emanate more of the energy I seek, but I hope... Animals will suffice as they would prov prove less of a hassle to acquire. You son of a... Oh, that's so uncool. Like this mannequin's dangling. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> okay. Size of my pinky. Oh my god. You uh, uh, just bones, bones, and bones. Uh. Is there anything important here? What the frick? What? What happened to his face? Oh my god. Hey! You got a small winky too. Oh, the dogs. Alright, well, there's clearly nothing else here. I don't want to hear these dogs anymore either, so. Let's just get out of here. Come on, that's so sad. I got 12 of these? Okay, well, that was, you know, fast. Find another way around the rubble in the study. Alright, I'm guessing that means we missed something. Secret passageway in the wall?
Nope. All right. Let's turn around and go back in the other rooms, I guess. What? What the frick? Please don't come here. Please don't come here. I think we we ran out of oil. Oh man. Monster? Monster? Please no. I can't take any more of you. Ay oh, jeez. These noises. Close. How do we get into you? Can I turn something on, please? Let there be light. I feel like I'm really stupid for missing this. What am I missing? What am I missing? Somebody tell me. What am I missing? <laughs> hey, look. I know a lot of you know who this is. Alright, is there nothing? Is it not over here? Alright, well, it's gotta be. Like, around here. Come on, what is it, like an underground whatever? Tell me! Let me in on your secrets. Cracked window panes are held together only... Wow, how did I miss this? By a week, what? Does that mean I could push it or what? Or use something like a drill? No. Oh, let's break it down then. Let's break it down then. Yeah. And hide. No? No hiding? No monsters? Does that mean we can leave? Gentle. Gentle. Wow. Okay. And if we don't make it? Whoo! We got the free running skills. What is that? Holy crap. Holy crap. Turned into Assassin's Creed. No monster, please. I cannot do that really fast. This be. What? Am I talking to myself? What is this? When will it be my turn? Have I not shown restraint? My patience spans centuries. From where I came, mankind has not even wasted a breath, yet I bow to you. I've done so much for you, and I've gained nothing in return. Agrippa, I trusted you. It was I who, in all fairness, should have entered that gate. Alright, this is... This is so freaking me out. If there's a monster, I seriously cannot get away fast enough. I'll die. Oh my god. Yes. What? A little? 
If the elevator breaks down again, make sure to use the steam engine to build up pressure before channeling it into the machinery. Adjust the levers to get the right amount of pressure inside the chamber. The meter should read up 8 and down 8. Let's not forget that. I'm going to forget that. you got to remember that. Make sure the flow is set according to the following chart. Trinity steam set functions, four phase amplitude, complete steam flow cycle. Note that the machines will not check proper configuration until all rods are inserted. He's going to come as soon as I grab this. But where is he going to come from? All right, just be ready to run like hell. All right, he can't just appear, so I'm going to close the doors. And there is no door. Okay, just be ready to run. Run, 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 run. Yeah, that's right. That's right. What the? What? Trees are falling and shit? Ooh! <gasps> Almost all the way. Assassin's Creed, that shit. Alright, let's just get the fuck out of here. Run, run, run. Don't look, just run. Don't look, just run. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. How you like me now? Conquered the study. I'm not afraid of you anymore, dragon shadow thing. I conquered this. I'm the man. I'm the man. But we're going to have to end it here. Because this episode is getting pretty long. Thank you very, very much for watching and helping me conquer this shit. I'll see you next time. The Nori out.